Hi, I'm Ems, aka on Dark on Wings. So I 3D printed this cool looking tire in the terrain piece, and I'll put the link in the description below. It's part of a much larger set, which is very cool. So I wanted to paint the brickwork first, and I went in with this dark grey, scaven black dinge. If you are following along for some inspiration on this terrain piece, if you do print it, I just use a dark grey or whatever else you have. After I had completed this part, I went in and dry brushed on a lighter grey, or just add some white to the previous grey that you have. After I had finished with the dry brushing, I went back over and did the floors. I wanted them to have like a checkered pattern to make them look more baroque. So here I mixed some screwing pink with some thinning medium. I could just use a lot of water or lamia medium. And this is going over the tyranid carapace kind of areas. After that, I mixed serious purple with black paint, and these are going over the spiky areas. I then grabbed some corn red, and I went over those weird mushroom leaking growth areas. So once that was all dried, I went in and grabbed some ivory from Pro Acryl. Pro Acryl paints are very nice. So I went over the spiky bits again. And this time just with plain Xerius purple and I'm just going over the edges making sure to leave that dark purpley colour in the recesses. Next up is the Cadian Flesh Tone and this is going over those mushroom growths. So just for a final highlight on the spiky areas, I'm grabbing a lighter purple, so this Dilly Chi, whatever it's called, lilac. Please like and subscribe if you can. Lastly, I'm using some more gas bone, and this is going over the brickwork and some of the sandy areas. Basically, I wanted to make it look weathered like it's been in a desert. And here are the final results, I think it looks really cool. As always, remember to enjoy your hobbies for yourself, respect that other people enjoy them in their own ways, and at the end of the day, they're just war dollies. Thank you for watching, and I will see you, hopefully, in the next one.